श्री शांताराम नायक सर द फाइनेंस बिल इज ए रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ वॉट योर प्रॉमिस इन योर बजट स्पीच एंड ऑब्वियसली सो देर फॉर देर आर अमेंडमेंट्स टू इनकम टैक्स एक्ट कस्टम्स एक्ट सर्विस टैक्स एक्सेट्रा दीज प्रपोजल्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन योर फाइनेंस बिल बट ए लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ the promises that you have made in your budget it outside the scope of finance bill that is because your major proposals are hidden under ppp model and those ppp model will require a budget which i roughly calculate 10 times the annual budget of government of india we don't know at present how much budget it will require so all these budget requirements are outside the scope of finance bill today how you are running ppp model simply by agreement each ministry drafts agreements as per the requirement there is no law governing those agreements and therefore therefore it amounts to squandering a large amount we are squandering by providing agreements and how do you face litigations obviously many entrepreneurs will go to the court on there is issue when you don't have a law only an agreement which has no basis of a law how will you face litigations in court and therefore to strengthen your ppp model whatever it is is too much in fact whatever it is you require a strong legislation for the purpose which is not there and therefore i am saying the proposals is outside finance bill secondly the motto of this government is minimum government maximum government but if you eventually to show after one year that no government no governance this will be the situation why the prime minister spoke of three tiers three three layers which which are the three layers have the business rules of government of india have been amended because as of now there is a procedure a file will move, move from x to y to z unless you have amended the business rules of government of india you cannot speak of three layers and two layers so your proposal has to be backed by rules number 2 in fact what we see is in this government because earlier was there was a chief minister pm was a chief minister there was only one layer not even three layers in gujarat party used to approach the, the then chief minister and the things would be done no scope for secretariat much and even if there the one person who will be deciding is the then chief minister therefore the policy of the government is not even three layers actually the hidden policy of this government is one layer now this is reveal also there was a meeting of ministers and secretaries together when the minute minute meeting of ministers and secretaries together it means it gives a signal their ministers will have no role to play virtually and it will be secretaries who will be deciding who will be directly reporting to pm again it will be one layer therefore one has to be very careful when we speak of layers then in defense 26% to 49% what is the assessment you have made arguments are that earlier we used to get from foreign countries defense equipments now they will be manufacturing here but defense is a very serious matter unless the government of india has made certain study deep study that this increase to 49% is desirable and is safe from security point of view unless this study has made this cannot go ahead i want i am not just opposing for sake of opposition but one has to study and make some assessment then bank capitalization of 2000 42 lakh 40000 crores 
equity by 2018, how you are going to get, get this equity from where? There is no road map as far as this equity capital is concerned. So we just be very careful. I would like to ask whether government of India has changed its policy with respect to national highways. Because national highways are constructed by the government of India and supposed to be constructed. District roads, state roads, village roads by the state government. Now it appears that as days pass, the policy is going to be changed. Other day, Prime Minister went to Goa and inaugurated new third Mandavi bridge on the national highway. So under which scheme this has been taken up? Whether National Highway 17, on which proposed bill will be, bridge will be coming, has been given up or the policy has been changed? You must know. Mandui, there is a Jowari bridge proposed. There is a big project from the Polem North Goa, Patradvi, which is North Goa to Polem South. National Highway was supposed to be built and would have ended by now. But the then state government, the then state government people, leaders who were in opposition, created hurdles in the project, National Highway project. As a result, project could not be completed. I would like to know, therefore, what is the policy of the government of India as far as National Highways is concerned. Now, coming to the black money, they had they have been promising during election time, what knows, it, it appears that it, they are going to bring black money in eight days' time. But we are aware that Switzerland has got certain strict laws which involves even referendum to be taken on the legislation. Whether referendum with respect to the legislation of transparency has taken place and whether Government of India is aware and pursuing this matter with the Switzerland government, we would like to know. SC is an important aspect, special economic zones. Now, they are sought to be revived. But many matters regarding SCZ are pending in the courts. Again, I was saying, these entrepreneurs who indulge in industrialization take government to the court from time to time on every issues, three SCZ notified issues which Goa opposed are still under litigation. Why Goa opposed? We said we are not interested in SCZ. Denotify those because SCZ proposers, entrepreneurs, did not promise Goa or Goans jobs from the locals. If you are willing to set up a SCZ unit, you have to promise certain percentage of job to the local people. Otherwise, we give them property worth crores of rupees and you don't get even give us 50 jobs. So if such SCZs are not useful to the local people where in the state where uh, SCZs are proposed, there is no, uh, it's of no use. Therefore, we have opposed, but entrepreneurs have gone to the court. They have taken government of Goa to the court. And unfortunately, this government, similarly state government there, being a government very much inclined towards industries, the chief minister of Goa has made a statement now that 30% of the land of these SCZs, whichever denotified, if at all notified, will be given to the entrepreneurs. In fact, the entire land should come back to the, either to the owners or to some public projects should be installed on those SCZ. Where it, what is the sense in giving, in giving land back to uh, entrepreneurs who have taken the government of Goa to the court and refusing to surrender the land? Therefore, these are the things that we be seen. Take the exact case of Whatever promises have been made to Goa regarding new medical colleges, one AIMS, one IIT, international convention, etc. Now these three, four announcements have been made. Nothing, we are not against this. Good, fine. Let the government of India give some time schedule 
as to by what date each of these things are going to be achieved. Because getting land is not that easy goer. NIT for last three years, during, your, during our regime also, to get NIT, land for NIT, which is now working in some other place, is difficult. We are not getting land. And getting land for new AM, AMs, IITs, how the Chief Minister of Goa is going to get, I wish him all the luck. And we are all for that. But the Chief Minister must try to ascertain for where you are going to uh, get the land. And IAS officers, they are not working for, for, for the state. I am sorry to say, they are not helping with whichever the government is there. And therefore, we have asked for special cadre of All India Services to Goa. I was shouting for the last three, four years here. And the government, present government in the state, were all objecting that we do not require special, this thing. We do not require a special category. Uh, sorry, uh, special cadre. Now, the chief minister is coming with a proposal with the center, likely to meet home minister, asking for special cadre. After all that shouting, they oppose. And I asked the then minister uh, who was piloting the bill during our regime. He said, your state government does not require cadre. Therefore, I can, how can I give? Now the chief minister is coming, saying that we do require, and therefore they want this thing. Take the question of mining now. Who is solving the issue of mining? I don't know whether the finance minister has given any promise. There are lakhs of people, there are three lakhs directly or indirectly affected by this. Whether the finance minister has given them any promise, or they have, they, have the finance minister asked to the state government to submit a proposal? Uh, is finance minister in touch with RBI to help these people through RBI or the banks? Some modalities has to be worked out to help these people, and they cannot be just left at the mercy of, of uh, cooperative banks. Cooperative banks, they are saying, how can we do? We have got to go by RBI guidelines. And therefore, these are the orders, these are the things which is to be said. Why, why this arose, I am telling you, sir, taking one minute. The chief minister of Goa, in spite of the fact that he does not have any power under the mining legislation, any power, banned mining operations in Goa. It is only after eight days, it is the then environment minister stepped in, saying, who are you? And then she passed a order, uh, banning the mining, but her intention was to, to call for documents and we have got legal documents to start the mining. In the meantime, Supreme Court uh, intervened and the matter is pending. But the state government is promising, giving promises now and then, every month, I am starting next month, I am starting next month. Why he is making these false promises to the people, to the affected people, one has to see. Thirdly, no, no, yeah, environment, environment protection. Environment protection is very important. It is governed under 1986 Act, Environment Protection Act. Now, there is an impression that those applicants who have asked for environment clearance, they will get, all those people will get clearances. Because there are people or entrepreneurs who have helped the present ruling dispensation. And therefore, they have been promised that whatever proposals of yours, which are not being cleared by the Environment Ministry, will be cleared. And therefore, one has to see whether these proposals, other day, uh, Mrs. Zaudekar said, now everything is online. Fine, that is required. If online proposals are, you are not, she has not told, in case, any applicant wants some clarification or the ministry wants clarification. How to get those clarification under e-governance? I'm not aware. There may be some procedure. But these things have to be cleared. And there should not be any sort of favoritism or vengeance as far as clearances under Environment Protection Act is concerned. Coming to smart cities, what are smart cities? Nobody has understood. 
many, many members wanted to know about the definition. What is a smart city? Smart city are some new settlements. It appears that some new towns are going to be established and the existing cities will be upgraded. Now imagine 100 new towns to be established and existing cities to be upgraded. That's why I'm saying this will require, I was calculating annual budget of 10 times will be required, but as far as this is concerned, I don't know how many budget amount will be required for this purpose. This is simply, we used to call during election time, we are not using it now. This is FECU, FECU system. In that FECU system, this then, in this FECU system, this set of promises can be made. You imagine 100 towns to be, new township to be created. You imagine the land, you imagine the environment, you imagine the resettlement to be made. And besides, upgradation of the existing city. Can you imagine this? With what budget? It's just like that 60,000 crore railway line from Ahmedabad to this thing. It is just like that. So this aspect, <coughs> now this involves infrastructural requirement. Why I'm saying this? Infrastructural requirements of a huge amount is required for the purpose of establishing new township, new settlements with following all the environment laws, etc. There are two more speakers in your I party. Know, I know. I'm ending it. Yeah. And therefore, this budget, which is supposed only to incorporate amendment to income tax act, wealth tax, service tax, etc., these proposals. There are other proposals outside the scope of this finance bill, which the finance minister have not bothered to provide for. Thank you, sir.